Hey everybody, it's Mike Aka, that reseller guy. It's Monday morning, got a video for you. Let's get going. All right, just in case you're new and you're watching this channel for the first time and you know who the heck I am, I'm Mike, I go by that reseller guy. I sell items mainly on eBay. I have a collectibles booth. I sell cards at a card shop. I sell a little bit on Amazon. I sell wherever I can, make a little bit of money, buy stuff at thrift shops, you know, the usuals. Anyway, uh, today I'm gonna go over some sales that I had over the weekend. I'm gonna show you a few pickups that I had and all that stuff. We're gonna show the pickups first. You guys know I like finding these bargain bags, these bags, these hanging bags, toys, baseball, sports collectibles, anything that's in a hanging bag at Goodwills. I find a lot of good bargains. There's a lot of great mystery bags that I like to call them. We got some videos on this channel and my That Card Guy channel all about those. The other day I bought two of them. First one here, you see some of them in the back. I'll show you a picture of the big bag of wrestling figures that I bought. Now, I had no idea how many were in this bag. It was mass. I mean, literally, it was a bag this big full of wrestling figures that marked $29.49 at the Goodwill. Price pretty high. Usually when they get these in, they'll put two, three, four of them in one little bag and sell that bag for, you know, whatever, five or ten bucks. This time they just threw them on one giant, giant bag, which worked out really well for me uh, because there ended up being, I think, 21 or 22 different wrestling figures in there. When I go to Goodwill, I get a 20% off coupon when I spend over 20 bucks. So that brings that price of that bag down as well. I paid just over a dollar per wrestling figure. So big thumbs up on that buy. I got them all priced ready to go out to my collectibles booth. Now, I could sell these individually on eBay. They go for five to $10 a piece on eBay. Sometimes a little bit more. I'd rather just put them in bags and put them in my collectibles booth and uh, do it that way. So I'm gonna show you a few of them and show you how I bag and prep them and take them out to my booth. I'm gonna show you the best one first. It might not be the best wrestler, but at least price-wise, when I looked him up, this guy was the best. I don't know wrestling too well. I know some of the names, but not all. And this is uh, Jimmy Uso, or Uso. has got it on his shirt right there. And he's also got like this tag team championship belt. This one actually is priced at $15 loose. This one does go for up to like $20, maybe a little bit more on eBay. But I priced him at $15 for my booth. We're gonna put him with all these other ones. All the rest of them are either $8 or $10. I price them at $9.95, so it doesn't say $10. You know, it's that whole mental game. Do you price it at $10 and people just say it costs $10? Or do a lot of people say, hey, it's $9.95, it's $9. I'm trying to play that mental game with buyers. I think it works. Anyway, so we had just about every current wrestler that uh, I know anyway. So we have John Cena, we have him there. And most of these are from either 2011 or 2017. So they're not the brand new ones. They are a little bit older. We have one of The Rock. And you can see here how I put them in these little zip baggies. I have links down below for this kind of stuff. These work great. I think this is a seven by three and I also have a seven by four bag that worked really good for some of the different figures, because some of them, like this guy, needed the bigger bag. He's a little bit bigger figure. He's taller than The Rock and wider as well, so I needed the seven by four bag. And you can see, priced him at 750, and this one at The Rock, I priced him at 995. So I'll just take a whole punch, punch it there, and then I can put it up, up on my peg wall of toys and collectibles at my booth. I'm not gonna show them all to you here, but you see we got this blue face guy. I had to use Google image to, to look up all these guys. This is Jeff Hardy. I know some of you are screaming, Mike, this Jeff Hardy. I knew who that is. Like I said, I knew a good stack of them. I knew who Roman Reigns is. I've seen him. Actually, I think this one here was my favorite. This is Bray Wyatt. And he's got this crazy clown looking face. I see a lot of people actually take this head off and sell it on eBay so they can use it for custom making dolls. So, or action figures sorry they're not dolls guys uh, let's see let me find one more in here that i'll show you that i thought was pretty cool all right of course we got the undertaker too so a uh, total of 21 or 22 i'm not going to recount them figures for just over 20 bucks a little over a dollar piece and uh like i said if i sell them all let's just say at eight dollars a piece 20 times eight, that's 160 bucks that's a pretty good return on investment at that same store i did find another bag this one was not quite as big, but it was of Calico Critters toys. Now, if you don't know what Calico Critters are, they're little fuzzy animals that they make play sets and make little families of these. There's foxes, there's bears, there's cats. There's just about every sort of animal family that you can think of. Uh, my daughter used to play with these when she was really little, so I knew what they were. When I bought that bag, that bag was only $7, $7.49. Of course, I got a little cheaper, you know, with my coupon. Uh, and surprisingly, uh, these are all listed on eBay because I thought I would take them to my booth to maybe separate the families and put them in my booth for a little bit. Uh, but yeah, they found out they were worth quite a bit more. So I'm going to throw a little pop-up, a little scroll through 
uh, the listings that I did on these. Some of them as high as I think $50 down to like $20. Now I was hoping that some of these sold over the weekend because I worked on these on Friday and Saturday and got them all listed, hoping that some would sell because it looks much better when I say, I found this bag, they already sold, they sold quick. Uh, but yeah, they haven't yet. There's a lot of watchers on them. I've sent out some 10% offers, but nobody's bit yet. Uh, but yeah, Calico Critters, these things are pretty good. Now there are, are known by a few different names as well. There's like Sylvanian family, I think they were before they became Calico Critters. And there's also some called Maple Town. They're all very similar. They're all interchangeable. Uh, and these ones were from like the 1980s. So they were vintage as well. So uh, I have uh, several hundred dollars, I think almost $300 in listings from all those items. That, that was $7, I think I said. Uh, so between the wrestlers and those Calico Critters, uh, that was a pretty good stop. All right, now sales. Sales were pretty good for the weekend. S total of 13 items, so not a crazy amount of items. Friday was pretty good, and things slowed down the rest of the weekend. But uh, total of $693, almost 700 bucks in those 13 items. So a fantastic average sales price. Uh, a couple of the items were bigger, bigger dollar items. I'll highlight those as well. But yeah, I'm going to flip this around, and we're going to go pull those orders. Out. That way I can kind of show you where I store things. Uh, I know I like to do this once every couple months. You can kind of see my storage areas, how I do stuff, and uh, find the items that I sell on eBay. So let's flip around and go pick those items. Okay, here it is. I wasn't lying. 13 orders, $693.97. We're going to go get this first one out of the garage. Now, if you've never seen my videos before, yeah, I store a lot of stuff out in my garage. And actually, the weather's getting nicer, so it's not quite as hot out there. So let's go find these golf balls. I'm going to spin around a little slowly for you today. Uh, we got to go out the door and go in the garage. It's going to be dark when we get out here. I'm not going to do the full walk every time, but you know, I like to show you how I have these things stored and everything. Now the garage is super dark when you go in here. I'm actually not gonna open the garage door today because the pool guy is getting ready to come here and I don't wanna see him or have him see me in the garage uh, making my video. It's kind of weird to me. Uh, anyway, so this is my storage area. I only have a few totes and it's generally because it's clothes that I keep in there. I don't want them to get dirty and dusty out here in the garage. Everything else is just set up on shelves. And this is kind of like my sports area. So I know all my sports items here. I actually just listed these golf balls yesterday. I offered them uh, out to my friends first. I said they could have this box for 12 bucks. Some Titleist golf balls, brand new. End up selling for $24.99 free shipping. Now I did sell a few items that are here in the room. We'll do all those last. We're going to go out to the garage and get these item ones. Next one. The Sterling Marlin car, and I'll throw the pop-ups on the screen so you see them as well. This is a KISS car, Coors Light KISS. So you had a lot of different uh, subjects that you're hitting. Your beer Coors Light, you're hitting KISS. Uh, this sold for $35.99 through offer. Okay, as we come back out here, uh, I have a couple of different NASCAR and car related things. I know that I had them up here. I don't label my shelves. I have a pretty good memory of where I put items. So here's the car. You see we got Kiss on there pretty good and that's what the car looks like inside the box. So yeah, $35.99 plus shipping. Now, a little story with this car is actually I did take it out to my collectibles booth. I tried to sell it out there first for I think I had it at $40 at my booth which is what I had it listed at on eBay. But like I said, I, I took a 10% offer and sold it for $35.99. All right, this trip out here, I'm going to see if I can remember all three things that I'm looking for and see if we can get all three. All right, first up, we got to go over here to my license plate stack, which is over here. Got a bunch of different license plates in here, and I know it's just in this stack somewhere. We've got Raiders, we got Lakers, we got NAU, Northern Arizona University. And this is actually going where it should go, Flagstaff, Arizona. Someone up there bought it. That's where NAU is. I believe this sold for $19.99 plus shipping. The next we gotta get back here into the sports area, but I know it's some books. It's hiding here in the back. And this is the last stack of books from my vintage book collection. I know it was dark right there. And these are Carter Brown books. I believe there's eight of them here. And I can't remember the price, $29.99? See if I'm correct, the pop-up will be on the screen. But yeah, these are all like pulp detective no novels with like, uh, you know, sexy spy ladies and stuff in there. So another good sale there. And then we did sell one clothing item this weekend, which ended up turning to be pretty good. Let me open this up here, move the lid out of the way, and it's actually right on top because I just listed it. This is a lacrosse jersey for like, NLL. That's the logo for lacrosse, National Lacrosse League. I know it's dark. I'm trying to spin around and find the right spot. This is the Georgia Storm, and this one popped out on me at Goodwill because it was still brand new with the tags from Fanatics on there. So... Uh, yeah, this sold through offer. I think I had it in my store for $100, and I took an offer for 75 
We'll head back into the garage for the last garage item and it should be over in the sport shelf. Now, this is an item that I have had in my eBay store probably for five years. I'm not joking. It's probably been five years that these have been in my store. But what happened is the Arizona Diamondbacks ended up going to the World Series. So I took all the Arizona Diamondback items I had. I ended the listings and I relisted them. And this ended up selling this weekend. So this is two different Randy Johnson bobbleheads. I know this is some horrible video work right here. But uh, yeah, these here. So you got two different jersey variations. You got the pinstripe, then you got the black jersey. And these sold for, I think it's $29.99 plus shipping. It's just going to somebody over in Tempe. So a real quick trip to somebody here locally. So that's it for everything that was out in the garage. We do have some office items. So let's turn around here. I'm going to try to do it slowly again. So I won't make you all dizzy. And this is where I keep some of my own collection stuff. I have some boxes of cards. that These are just collectibles that are that are things of mine. And then everything else here on the shelf is all stuff that's on eBay. So the item that I need is actually right in here. This box of cards, if I can get it out without knocking stuff over. Classic Best Baseball from like 1994. This is a box of cards and this sold for $35.99. So I must have had it at $39.99 and took a little 10% uh, discount on that one. Also up here, I finally sold one of these Masters flags. These Masters golf flags. I bought two of them at a local auction several months back. Thought they would sell a little sooner. We sold the... 2013 this one here 2013 masters this is when uh adam scott i believe yeah adam scott won this year you see they sell these at the masters for 22 dollars. you can't buy the the old ones from them so you got to go on ebay and find them if you want to try to get adam scott to sign one for you so this one for 60 dollars. yeah 59.99 plus shipping now i did pay 30 dollars for it. i did pay up for that one but uh, still doubled my money before the fees you can see the other one I have is 2007, so they look exactly the same. The only thing they do is they change the year on them. All right, I sold two sports cards. Let's see if we can get both those. We sold a Hunger Games card and a Ken Griffey Jr. card. So let's turn around this way, not quite as fast. Now, down here, bulk lots for eBay. This is the one that I got to get the Jennifer Lawrence card out of, and there are several different ones, so I got to figure out which one that it is. That's card number 83, and I need card number 83. That's the right one. I think it kind of looks the same on the front and the back. So we got like a horizontal view uh, on the back and then vertical on the front. So that card sold for $1.99 free shipping. And then the Ken Griffey Jr. cards are all right here in this box right here. I just got to find the right card for the Ken Griffey Jr. I'm doing this one hand. Uh, you, should, you should appreciate the coordination it takes. Is it this one? It is this one right here. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr. 2014 Top Stadium Club Legends die cut card. This one sold for I think $20. Is that right? Let me scroll up on my screen. Yeah, $20. That's what it looks like on the back. Right there. That's a $20 Ken Griffey Jr. card. Okay, we're just about done. We only got a couple more here. We got a couple bat knob decals right there that sell for one sold for $8.99, one sold for $9.99. And we're going to spin around again. And I got a little storage thing over here that I keep a lot of little smalls in. And I know I have these little bat knob decals inside here. So let me pull these all out and see if I can get the right ones. We sold the Dodgers, number 79. So I got these on here. I'll just cut that off. Then I sold the Diamondback one because Diamondback stuff has been selling pretty good. Because like I said, they're in the World Series. We have a few different styles of Diamondbacks. Let's see. It's right there, that red one number 70 so i'll cut those off and what i do is actually i just ship these out in an envelope i just put an envelope with the stamp and uh, don't do tracking they're they're ten dollar items i'm not going to worry about it they're not going to break during shipping all right the last item we got to spin around again and it's that big brick right there i just bought and listed this thing on friday and it sold over the weekend so let me grab it. this thing is heavy it probably weighs 10 or 12 pounds i'm doing this with one hand trying to scoot it out here oh my god it's more than 10 or 12 pounds all right, let's 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 go back. I've got to find a good spot to put this. This is a Microsoft Office bundle from 1992. Still factory sealed. Still sealed, 1992. This was marked uh, $24.49 at the store. Obviously, with my discount, I got it for $20. 
Uh, I didn't even look it up. I didn't look up comps at the store. I just knew that this was going to be a good deal. Got home and ended up making a deal with somebody pretty quickly. They're from New Zealand. So I knew they're going to pay a ton of import and taxes and shipping and all that stuff through the eBay International Shipping Program. So we agreed, I believe it's $165 for this item. Plus uh, I charge $15 shipping. It can go out media mail because it is just a... Uh, uh, books and uh, discs. So yeah, great sale there. $20 into $165 and it sold right away. All right, that's the end of the orders. Let's uh, flip this back around. All right, that's it for today. Thanks everybody for watching the video. If you're not subscribed to my that Card Guy channel, get over there and do it now. 917 subs over there, crawling to that 1,000 that I'm trying to get to before the end of the year. The goal of this channel is to get to 3K by the end of the year. I'm going to come up short on this. What are we at? 2,700 and some? That's still pretty darn good if you ask me. All right, Hope you all have a great day. Go D-backs. We're playing again tonight. We hope we get the win again. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.